Aloha, EA Tischler here with New Horizons Golf. In this video, uh, I am using some slow motion or semi-slow motion rehearsal swings to train the technique that I wanted to work on um, in this video. Um, we're going to notice that I use a pendulum type backswing motion to load the backswing. Once I get to the top, the transition is performed with an abduction move in the left leg and an external rotation in the left hip. This motion is often, uh, in my view, misinterpreted as having a, a huge lateral slide in it. Reason being that the right hip rotates back in, the, in a deep position in the backswing. Once it reaches that position, that right hip and leg strive to stay in position as the abduction and external rotation move happen. And, and that positions the left hip more forward than it was at address. Uh, and in doing so, it may appear to be having a slide move, but what's actually happened is that the right hip is rotated back into a position and what I call being on the anchor line. And then it strives to stay in that position as the right leg holds still during the abduction and external rotation move. So from that point on, it's really the, the left side, you know, trying to rotate around to, to create that transitional move. And it's just that it's doing so from a position where that right hip is already rotated back into a deeper position. And in a sense, we're changing the rotational point. We're rotating the right hip back, then it stays still, and then we're rotating the left side away. So it's almost like a, a dual rotation will move in that, in that respect. I call it rotating on the anchor line. And this allows us to maintain the proper amount of secondary tilt in the forward swing without having to slide our hips or drive our hips laterally forward. We can actually do it with a swingers rotational type or rotary type action. So as you watch this uh, video, see if you can notice how when that right, once that right hip rotates back, it tries to stay in that deep or that forward position that it rotated into without moving back to where it started. And, and this is why it looks like there's a lateral motion in the swing. Uh, we can also see in pendulum swings where if you were to swing a pendulum from side to side, the bottom part of that pendulum looks like it's moving in a lateral direction. In reality, it's, it's just swinging from its central point, the focal point of the pendulum, in, instead of actually making a lateral drive. A lateral motion would happen when you know, the upper and the lower swing centers, for example, are trying to both move laterally at the same time. There would be a huge lateral move if we did that. If we're keeping the upper fulcrum centered and we're trying to rotate in such a way that that pendulum motion is swinging but the hips are actually turning, then certainly there's going to be a degree or a look of lateral action in the golf swing. However, it's actually going to be more of a swinger's action than it is a true lateral drive. Um, if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll remember that you know, I consider creating a strong lateral drive actually creating it being using a throwing technique. So if you rotate in the backswing, you're using a swinger's technique in the backswing. If you create a huge lateral drive in the forward motion from there, then you're creating a throwing action. Thus, that particular technique would have a swing throw designation. If you create a big lateral motion in the backswing to load the swing and then another lateral motion in the forward motion to, to drive it and deliver it, that would be a true swinger's action. I mean, a true thrower's action. So, you know, as I perform these swings, I'm, I'm actually trying to use more of a, a swinger's pendulum action up to the top of the backswing. I'm using the athletic ability of utilizing my body with the abduction action and external rotation of my hip in the transition while my right hip tries to stay on the anchor line in order to create a rotary golfer's forward move that actually creates a chain of events in the golf swing that multiplies power and is a very strong powerful action. So um, once again this is a, a pendulum motion in the backswing with the abduction in the transition and the external rotation in the in the transitional moves that actually helps me make sure that I have the proper amount of secondary tilt and drop that swing back down from the inside. I hope you've enjoyed this video.